Hello and welcome to this new section, Concepts in Predictive Analytics. In this section, we will be talking about important terminology in the field of predictive analytics, including, of course, the term predictive analytics itself. This is a conceptual section, but it is necessary because predictive analytics is a complex field and we need to know many important concepts before we start using it. So let's see what we are going to learn in this section. First, we are going to answer the question, what is predictive analytics? Then we will give a little review of the main analytical methods for doing predictive analytics. In the next video, we will give a little conceptual introduction to machine learning, and we will be talking about the two main branches of machine learning, supervised and unsupervised learning. Since supervised machine learning is the approach we will use in this course, we will take a look at the two types of tasks that can be performed in supervised learning, classification and regression. Finally, we will talk about models and algorithms, and we will give a precise meaning to these terms that are sometimes used interchangeably in the context of predictive analytics, and these can cause some confusion. So let's get started with this section. This is the first video of the section, and here we will answer the question, what is predictive analytics? And we will see how it is different from other approaches for doing prediction. Okay, so the term predictive analytics has two words. Let's start with prediction. In this context, the term prediction means a guess about something that is not known. So prediction is not only about the future, but in general about events that we don't know. For example, a diagnosis for the disease of a medical patient could be considered a prediction, even though the patient already has the disease. Predicting which female customers of a retail store are pregnant, so the store can send them deals, it is also considered a prediction. And here we have a few other examples. So if a user will click an advertisement of in a website, well, this is also considered a prediction. Predicting the electricity demand by the hour in some city, this is also considered a prediction. And here we have other, other examples of this. Of course, there are millions of examples of predictions that could be potentially useful in some context, like um, stock market movements, political events, natural disasters, and so on. And we humans have invented many ways to try to predict these unknown events, like astrology, tarot, crystal balls, communication with gods or with other supernatural entities, and so on. But we also have invented another method called science. And this is the method that has demonstrated to be by far the most effective way when used to make predictions. Now, speaking about science, there are systems that are relatively simple and that can be described by mathematical laws. Like, if I let go of an object from a building, there is an equation from physics that will predict exactly when the object will fall to the ground. Science has been really, really successful at producing explanations and models for such simple systems. Now, there are other systems and situations that are not so simple and that can't be described by a mathematical theory. In these cases, we could use something that we have in this era in large quantities, and this is data. Every transaction, credit card application, social media post, every email, phone call, text message, or every purchase that you do is now being recorded as data. So our increased capacity to generate and store data has led to an exponential growth in the ability of data to be analyzed and used to make predictions. And this is what predictive analytics is all about. So here we have a definition of predictive analytics. Predictive analytics is the use of data combined with techniques from mathematics, statistics, and computer science to make predictions. 
The goal of predictive analytics is to produce a good assessment of what may happen with unknown events. So, as you can see, predictive analytics is not about the size of the data. You could do predictive analytics with few data or you can use huge data sets. It doesn't matter as long as you are using a systematic scientific and data-driven approach using quantitative tools, you are doing predictive analytics. So this is the essence of predictive analytics, the use of data combined with quantitative tools, everything done using the scientific method. And this is what we are going to do in this course. So in this video, we have answered the question, what is predictive analytics?